Hello guys, let's discuss the competency based questions from the chapter solutions. So welcome to Brilliant Qatar. Let us discuss the most important competency based questions. Since this year 2025, they will ask you competency based questions. So we should have a clear cut idea about each and every concept, especially solution chapter. The first part most of the students are avoiding. That's like molarity, molality that uh, concentration expression terms are there. But from that, we can expect some MCQs, okay? And Henry's law is there, Raoult's law is there, ideal solution, non-ideal solution, azeotropes. Mainly you have to focus on which one? The colligate property, Van Hoff factor, degree of dissociation, degree of association, those area. Let's discuss question number one. In a chemistry laboratory, Richard took 5 gram, 5 gram of a solute from a unknown box. So weight of solute WB is given 5 gram, is prepared is 0.25 molar. So molarity is given to you 0.25 molar, basic solution, basic solution, see all our bases. The volume of the solution was, the volume is given to you 500 ml based on the above data, which of the following is likely to be the unknown substance? They are asking what is a solute, you know the method. See, molarity is equal to WB by MB into 1000 divided by volume. Let us substitute. What is the molarity? 0 0.25 equal to 5 divided by molar mass supposed to calculate. 1000 divided by volume is 500. So what is the value here? So it will be 0 0.25 equal to 5 divided by MB into 2, right? So that's equal to 10. So MB, what do you get it here? That's you'll get it. MB is equal to, MB is equal to 40, 40 is equal to which one? 40 is the mass of which one? You know very well that is NaOH, right? NaOH, what is sodium? Sodium mass is 23, oxygen mass is 16, hydrogen mass is 1, S is equal to 40. So molarity based question, molarity, molality, those beginning part, please don't miss it here. Next question, a glycerin solution at 293 Kelvin, okay, 293 Kelvin has a molality, okay, molality, small m is given to you and molarity, capital M is given to you, right. Which of the, which of these are correct for molarity and molality, see the twisting, okay. Here they given molality and molarity, but they are asking molarity and molality in the order, okay, at what temperature, 450. See here, 293 Kelvin, they change into 450, means temperature increased. When temperature increases, what happened to molarity and molality? That I want to uh, tell you with. So here, you know, molarity is equal to WB by MB into 1000 divided by volume. You know, molarity depend on temperature because there is a term volume. You know, temperature is directly proportional to volume. So as temperature increases, volume increases. When volume increases, molarity decreases. So what is the initial molarity? 5.33. So it should be less than 5.33. So molarity less than 5.33. Next, what about molality? You know, molality is equal to WB by MB into the 1000 divided by WA. There is no term changing with the temperature. All are weights. So molality is what? Independent of temperature. So its value will be 3.89 itself. So what is the answer here? Option A is the answer. So molarity when temperature increases, molarity decreases. But temperature when increases or decreases, molality do not change. Next one. A mixture of acetone. What is acetone here? That is our propanol. A mixture of acetone, acetone and chloroform. What is chloroform? CHCl3 forms a maximum boiling azeotrope. Yes, we studied chloroform and acetone is an example of which deviation? Negative deviation. In negative deviation, we studied AB interaction is greater than AA and BB interaction. So, which is correct about this one? Change in volume on mixing will be positive. No. For a negative deviation, volume of mixing is less than zero. Change in enthalpy on mixing positive. No. Delta H mixing less than zero. Interaction between unlike molecule, unlike in the sense AB interaction is stronger than between like molecule. Yes, option C is the correct answer. So don't miss the uh, ideal solution, non-ideal solution, the 
each and every example based question can be expected next one in a chemistry laboratory a student has 0.01 liter of 10 raised to minus 2 mole per decimeter cube that means mole per liter molar sulfuric acid solution the lab assistant asked the students to reduce its concentration to this one by adding water what should be the volume of the water added you know it's called our dilution formula m1 v1 equal to m2 v2 m1 v1 equal to m2 v2 what is the initial molarity 10 raised to minus 2 into what is the initial volume 0 0.01 liter what is the final molarity final molarity is given right that is 2 into 10 raised to minus 4 and that final volume we have to calculate so what is that v2 dear this is what 10 raised to minus 4 equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 4 into v2 so that's equal to v2 is equal to 1 by 2 is equal to 0 0.5 liter but the question is in milliliter that's equal to what that's equal to 500 ml so that is v2 so but don't write option c dear initially what is the volume initially see let us convert into milliliter so 0 0.01 means what 10 milliliter right so initial volume is 10 milliliter final volume is 500 milliliter so to make it 10 ml into 500 ml how much water we need to add 490 right 490 ml that's what they're asking they're not asking the final volume final volume is 500 initial volume is 10 so 10 ml if you want to convert into 500 ml 490 ml we need to add it next one as per henry's law henry's law kh is equal to what p divided by the the pressure divided by the mole fraction everything is given the concentration of n2 gas in water at a constant pressure increases quadratically this all making some confusions dear you know kh value for a particular gas is fixed one kh of hydrogen is fixed kh of nitrogen is fixed it do not change with the, they are saying uh, the water at a constant pressure the concentration is increases decrease etc it do not change okay that kh value remain the same for a particular gas now molarity of a solution of naoh in water is 5p okay molarity of NaOH solution is given as 5P during the winter season. So, at what temperature? 275 Kelvin. Which of the following could be the molarity of the same solution in terms of P during the warm days? That means summer season. That means what? Winter to summer means temperature increased. As temperature increases, we already said that molarity decreases. So, molarity should be less than 5P. Less than 5P. Where is less than 5P? This is 5p plus 50, 5p, right? 4.95p, less than 5p. Okay, which of the following statement is or are correct? First one, sea water boils. Sea water means what it contained here? NaCl and H2O, right? Solute is there, solvent is there. Is lower than that of fresh water. Just consider normal H2O. Is it correct or not? Sea water boils at a low temperature. No solution this is solution this is solvent you know solution the sea water contain more solute particle more solute if the high boiling point they said lower incorrect second delta s what is delta s entropy change randomness change you know delta s is higher for the vaporization of pure water than the vaporization of solvent from a solution here you consider here only solvent is there here you have solvent plus solute that means uh, it's a solution where you get more vapor more vapor i will write here because solvent is becomes what vapor solvent is going to become vapor so solvent give more vapor since there is solute present in solution less vapor less vapor so more vapor if it generate more particle if it generate more the randomness right more the randomness so here delta s will be greater yes delta is higher for pure water than solution that is correct the boiling point of water is lower than that of glucose water correct because glucose water contain it's a solution right glucose solute if there solute if there boiling point will be higher so pure solvent low boiling point glucose solution high boiling point correct so two and three are correct here option b is the correct answer next one 
93 gram of ethylene glycol. So ethylene glycose is our solute is added to 1 kilogram water. Water is our solvent. So freezing point changes. Hope you seen this graph in our uh, textbook that is our depression in freezing point graph. If the freezing point of water is 273 Kelvin at 1 bar, Kf uh, is given to you. Which of the following graph represent the depression in freezing point? What is the graph we normally studied in our classes? Here, we will place that uh, boiling point versus the vapor pressure. We will get two graphs like this. This is for what pure, this is what the solvent and this is for solution, right? This is our solution. This is our liquid solvent, liquid solvent. When you're freezing, freezing means when you decrease the temperature, right? Decrease the temperature. At this point, liquid starts to freeze that become solid solvent, solid solvent. And here it becomes solid solution. All right. And this one, you know, this is the TF naught, freezing point of the pure solvent. And this is what TF, that is the freezing point of the solution. So here, which is correct here. So the nature of the graph from which I think it is clear that either B or C is the answer. Which one is that? So here should be water, here should be water and here it should be solution, correct? Upper uh, solvent, below solution and this part become ice. You see here 273, here 270, correct or not? Yes, freezing point of solution is lesser, freezing point of solvent is greater. Yes, that should be correct. And here is uh, 271, 273. Uh, that's almost okay, but 270, okay, fine. And the water, water plus ethylene glycol is given. That's in bar and this is Kelvin, the Kelvin scale, right? So, okay, which is the most appropriate graph which is giving for that? Yes, option C is the graph. 270, 270, 273, correct. Okay, next one. Ragesh took 20 gram, 20 gram of solute A to prepare 50 ml solution. The solution is isotonic. Okay, what do you mean by isotonic? They have same osmotic pressure. To another solution of the same volume with a weight of 40 gram of a different solute B. If both the solution is prepared at the same temperature, at the same temperature, you know, at the same temperature, yes, it can be isotonic. Then what is the ratio of the molecular mass of, uh, molecular mass of A to molecular mass of B? Dear, since it is an isotonic solution, we can equate with their number of moles. So I can write Na is equal to Nb. What? For an isotonic solution, we can equate their number of moles. So what is Na? Wa divided by Ma is equal to Wb divided by Mb. Can you please substitute? What is weight of the uh, first component? 20 gram. 20 divided by its mass equal to. What is weight of the other solute? Uh, other solute is 40 gram, right? 40 divided by Mb. So they are asking what is Ma by Mb. So what will be Ma divided by Mb here? It will be 20 divided by 40. That's equal to 1 by 2, 0 0.5. Alright. Uh, if the two solutions are placed at a different temperature, keeping all other variables constant, separated by a semi-permeable membrane, will the osmosis happen or not? Yes, it will happen. Why? Since they change the temperature, now the solution is not isotonic. If they are not isotonic, what happened? The solvent move from higher concentration, lower concentration through the semi-permeable membrane. Ready? Next, there is a table is given. You can see solute is mentioned. H2SO4, acetic acid in water, acetic acid in benzene, urea. Degree of dissociation or association is given and I value, this two value we have to calculate. Based on this, what is the Van Hoff factor I for acetic acid in two different solvent? Here, you know, assume that 100 percentage dissociation or association. We studied in acetic acid there is something special. Acetic acid in water splitted as CH3COO minus and what H plus. Means two ions. So what is the degree of dissociation is equal to 2 because that's a, a after dissociation you will get 2 ion before it is 1. 2 by 1, 2. Because acetic acid in water undergo dissociation give you 2 ion. But the same acetic acid in benzene what happened? We studied it dimerize. That means 2 acetic acid join you will get CH3COOH twice. So no, CH3COOH twice dimerizes. 
so what is the van hoff factor for this one after association one particle before it is to 1 by 2 that's equal to what 0.5 so you can compare with the degree of dissociation also why does urea why does urea show no association or dissociation because urea is a non electrolyte right we know non electrolyte do not undergo dissociation or association its i value remain 1 correct arrange the following solution in increasing in increasing order of their osmotic pressure their osmotic pressure pi equal to what i into crt right i into crt uh, they are given sucrose you know sucrose is a non electrolyte its i value is equal to 1 urea is a non electrolyte i value is equal to 1 glucose i value is equal to 1 but sodium chloride i value is equal to 2 because sodium chloride give you what na plus and cl minus correct or not okay then question arrange the following solution in increasing order of their osmotic pressure so osmotic pressure mainly depends on what you know r is a constant right r is a constant even temperature for if the temperature not mentioned that so mainly depends on i and concentration which one having greater i value nacl and also what is the what is c what is c c means what concentration that is number of moles by volume were higher number of moles were higher osmotic pressure can you just calculate those uh, number of moles here number of moles will be 58.5 divided by what is sodium chloride mass you know sodium chloride here sodium is 23 chlorine is 35.5 that's equal to what 58.5 right so 58.5 that's equal to 1 so this uh, i is 2 n is 1 good and what about uh, glucose glucose solution if you taken it's uh, uh, the number of moles right number of moles is equal to given mass by molar mass what is the given mass 90 you know mass of glucose is 180 that's equal to 1 by 2 0.5 only what about the uh, which one the urea case urea given mass is 60 it's mo molar mass also 60 dear urea mass also 60 so that's equal to what one mole what about the sucrose 34.2 divided by sucrose mass you know the uh, 342.1 uh, so here which one you expecting the highest uh, osmotic pressure highest osmotic pressure mean they have high uh, uh, van hoff factor and high concentration that is no doubt the fourth one because i value is 2 and n value is 1 so fourth is the most highest there is only one option option a let's see the others also and what do you think about the next one glucose is i value is 1 by 2 very less but urea i value is 1 yes so next one is this one and the next one is uh, this one right uh, third one no this 1 by 2 this is 0 0.1 right this 0.5 is 0 0.1 so higher the i value higher the van hoff factor this is that is the concept here higher the van hoff factor higher the osmotic pressure so my dear student so from the chapter solution competency based question mainly you can expect from the colligative property part okay colligative property ideal non ideal solutions and uh, henry's law molarity that concepts also they may connect it you know with nothing to worry about that but what how the things are varying how the things are varying with the temperature concentration you should have a clear idea then we can able to compete the competency based questions so wish you all the very best practice well